Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Carly Keenan. Good evening, Central Oregon. Happy Thursday, or as I like to say, happy Friday Eve. We're almost to the weekend. We've made it past the middle of the week, so I hope you've been enjoying your week so far. Looks like some people out at Black Butte Ranch are certainly enjoying their week, enjoying some of the sunshine and very warm temperatures we have been having. A few clouds in the sky off of this live look, uh, but very light, fluffy clouds, no uh, precipitation held in there, so we can still see the mountains, which is always a gorgeous view. I'm jealous of those people out there right now. Now, over the past three hours, we have been seeing a very light cloud coverage. For the most part, it's really blown past, or I should say dissipated, because it really is residual cloud coverage. Now, we've got winds coming out of the north, but no system off the Pacific that we have to worry about quite yet. Uh, and the winds are quite light and variable, so if we do see a system with these clouds, it's going to blow past fairly quickly. Our temperatures, however, are still very very warm. It was another hot day here on the high desert. Right now, most of us are still ringing in above 90 degrees. Warm Springs pushing 100 degrees up there at 98. And then our lowest temperature is, of course, here in South Deschutes County, uh, Lapine at 87 and Sun River at 88. Now, it's not going to stay this hot as we head into the late hours of tonight. We are going to cool down. Tonight's lows are ringing in at about average. We're seeing 62 degrees in Warm Springs. Bend also at 62. Redmond is going to be at 50 58 for tonight's low and then of course Lapine and Sun River down there in the mid to upper 40s. We are going to see some considerable cloud coverage tonight and that's actually going to act as a blanket and keep us warm throughout the night before we warm up tomorrow. Now tomorrow's highs are not going to be quite as warm as what we saw today. You can see the majority of us hanging out in the mid to upper 80s except for Prineville Madras and Warm Springs that are going to hit those 90 degree temperatures. But 84 degrees 89 is still very very warm. Uh, for our forecast. So nothing too cold headed our way and we are going to see lots of sunshine tomorrow. Here's what I'm talking about. You can see this on our future track. This is as we're heading into tomorrow. Very, very light clouds coming and going throughout the day. As we head into Friday night, you can see this is 11 p.m. Very light cloud coverage and this takes us all the way into Saturday. Again, those clouds are coming and going as Saturday continues, just blowing over the region very nicely. This is Saturday at 5 p.m. So should be a very, uh, for the most part, sunny start to your weekend with a few clouds. Now let's look at that seven day. I do want to focus in on our temperatures. You can see tomorrow there's that high of 89. This is out of Redmond, by the way. And then on Saturday, we are down in the 70s, which we have not been in the 70s for quite a few weeks. Don't know if this is considered that much of a cool down because by Sunday we're back up in the 80s. And then as next week carries on, we are warming up back in the 90s. 